Hey, what's up, fish tank people? This is Jake, Viper 15 Alpha 41. These are my convict fry. When they first hatched, there was probably, I don't know, 150, 200 of them. Now we're down to probably maybe 30. And these are them. Uh, the parent fish are, they're still pretty protective, but we're down to a small number. Um, there's mom and dad. They chase off the other fish, keep them away. There's Grumpy Old Oscar. Tank's doing pretty good. This is I'm in about my fourth week, third or fourth week with these uh, cichlids in this 75 gallon. I put a few plants in, and uh, let me show you what I'm working with here. Okay, this is a pitiful looking Anubis that I took out of another tank. It's just a piece of driftwood that the Anubis is attached to. Uh, Nubus is covered in some old black uh, beard algae. Now, I think this tank is in pretty healthy balance, but the tank this came out of is in rough shape. And the Nubus looks bad. I've been told and I've seen that you can bleach black beard algae to get it off the leaves and to go ahead and uh, probably kill it. So let's see what happens. I'm going to um, go move from here to the kitchen, so we'll see you upstairs. All right, folks, we moved to the uh, kitchen. There's the Anubis, that's the piece of driftwood it was uh, attached to. The roots were just kind of poked down through that hole in the piece of wood, and I just very gently took them out. Uh, what, we're, what we're gonna try to do here is use a common household bleach. I'm gonna mix it in proportion of 19 parts water to one part bleach. If you hear my dogs whimpering in the background, nobody's abusing them. They just get totally jealous of me uh, not messing with them. Whatever I'm doing, if it doesn't involve the dog, I hear about it. So what I've done is i got a measuring cup out here, and it, uh, I'm going to mix up 20 ounces of solution. There's 16 ounces of water in that bowl. I don't know if I can get this to show or not. About three ounces of water there. There we go. I'm going to put one ounce uh, bleach in this cup. That'll make 20 ounces all together and that'll be 19 water to one bleach. Alright folks, bear with me for the little jump cut. I couldn't hold the uh, camera and pour the bleach at the same time. Maybe slightly more than one part, but it's uh, uh, one part to 19. But I don't think it's going to be too high a solution. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to finish mixing this up. Alright, and we'll just, you know, it's just water and bleach. I'll be honest with you. I've never done this. I've never tried it before. I don't know how it's going to turn out. So, I'm get, move over under the little bit letter. better light. You see how dark these leaves are? All I'm going to do is just dip each leaf in the solution. Shake it around a little bit. Being careful not to try to keep it off the uh, stems and, of course, not the roots. All right, so one piece, I'm just gonna set it in the sink. Grab the other piece, I'm gonna do the same thing. Quick dip, keep the roots out. All right, and my last piece of Anubis. Quick dip. And I think that's really basically it. All I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to leave these in the sink for just a minute with that bleach water. And then I'm going to, uh, of course, rinse them really well just with regular tap water. And I may put them in a quick bath of some uh, water and a dechlorinator. So I dip the plants. Uh, just with 
my thumb and forefinger, rubbed each leaf that had the, the algae on it. And believe it or not, most of it came off just like that. Rinsed them in regular uh, tap water just under the sink. This is tap water. As you can see, I got my prime. I'm going to put a few drops in. And I'm going to take my plants. Let's put them in the prime. Prime water. Get in there. Rinse. Give that just a few seconds to, you know, eliminate whatever chlorine we have. I know that. All right. Of course, uh, stirred up a bunch of sediment. That's crazy. These cichlids are, are filthy, filthy fish. I vacuumed this tank earlier today, and it's just, I can barely tell. And one of the things, you know, I know, as I look at this, I, it's clear to me that some of the leaves are, they're not all pointing in the same direction. They're not all growing in the same direction. But uh, that's all right, because I know that they will, uh, they'll grow, they'll turn towards the light so to speak, go to the light. <laughs> but I can already tell, look, look at those leaves, they're already just, you know, I just I just did the treatment to them like 15 minutes ago, and they look so much better. I'll revisit this tank and, you know, you know I'll give you an update in a few days and see if it's long lasts, see if it lasts long, that is, and make sure that we haven't done any permanent damage to the leaves. I've never tried the technique. I've seen several people in the videos talk about doing it for a couple different reasons. Um, you know, I know people will encourage you to dip new plants to kill any pathogens so you don't in introduce any, you know, diseases to your tank. And it also is a great way to get rid of snails. I don't mind snails so much, but uh, it's one way to take care of them. But there, you know, I can see little residue of the algae but it's it's just so much better than it was um, Anubis is a great plant it's very hardy will grow you know it's a, it's a really thick leaf uh, they you know they, this is a cichlid tank and and they don't they don't mess with it they just leave it alone I even watched uh, one of the fire mouths he was yeah, I think he was eating some of the algae off of it Another thing you have to take into consideration is if you have algae that's out of control, then there's a problem. Something is out of whack. Some other ways to uh, cut back on algae issues is to uh, cut back on the amount of light that your tank gets. Now, you know, this is, this is my most recent tank that I've set up. It's, uh, you know, I hate to say that it's my favorite, but it's the one that I mess with the most. So it gets a lot of light. I turn the lights on early in the morning and then go to work and come home in the evenings and mess around with the tank. So I know it's probably getting 10 hours of light. Did you see that? That little convict right there, man. She's, she's regulating. She don't let these other fish come around her babies. Another thing you got to make sure is you're not overfeeding. If you're overfeeding your fish, you're, you know, your, your nutrient, you'll have too much nutrients in your water column and, and it, cycle gets out of whack and that also will uh, can lead to algae blooms other things you can do to uh, prevent or cut back on algae issues is you can dose your tank with uh, carbon based uh, um, fertilizers I'm a big fan of Excel flourish Excel one problem I have with that is I do huge water changes. I do about every other day a 30% water change and when you're changing your water that much I have reservations about how effective chemical additives are. I think you put them in and then you're dumping them out. But uh, you know it's it's a uh, algae issues is systemic of, of bigger problems and you just kinda have to find that balance in your tank. Balance is the key. I don't want to sound like Dustin, 
but Buddy's right. You know, you gotta, if anything's out of whack, you, a sure sign is you're gonna have algae, whether it's black beard or green hair or whatever. All right, folks, hope you enjoy the video and uh, appreciate you watching and uh, everybody take care.